Hello, hello. Today I'm testing the patch number two for the flight simulator 2020, and uh, this will be an experimental flight using the Airbus 320, and we will fly towards from Italy to Athens. Uh, inside the category one hurricane which is already in development and already uh, in progress and has arrived almost in greece and will uh, on friday uh, 18th of month will be uh, strike the west part of greece and progress to the east part and uh, the, this will be an ifr plan i have selected already the departure and everything and let's get started to see what's going on today i installed the latest patch the patch number two which is uh, the new upgrade from microsoft flight simulator version now is 1830 and let's see what they have already done what progress they have done in the game in the sim Here we are in Croton, I just selected randomly this airport. As we know, everything is cold and dark. Let's get started as soon as possible. It seems that we have available external power. We comment things that we like and things that we don't like. I'm using uh, the A3 to N A3 two NX project. The current version I'm using right now is 0 0.2.0. 0. Turn on the ACAM and the displays. Do the same for the co pilot. Turn the brightness here for the ACAM also. The primary bright display we have already turned it on. The flight plan should be. Active. This is a bug that we see that the uh, air database is, has not been updated. Even I'm using the latest from uh, Navigraph. The current version I'm using right now is uh, the 2010 revision 9, but this is not updated. This is one bug that should be half corrected, and maybe Microsoft uh, should update the database more frequently. I don't know what kind of version they're using right now. They're using the previous one, which expires in July. I have I've read that they will keep updating the database with the current version, but it's not. Not, but theoretically it is right now because we have already installed the external database for Navigraph. Okay, let's go to flight plan. See. Have to wait for the ADRS to align. We need almost six minutes. Let's prepare taking off the cockpit. Oops, what is this? Toggle active pause. That's a new button. It was not implemented in the previous version. Huh. Interesting. We'll use it later to see what's going on. Here go the ATC ground services clearance there is no ground service here ok 
Okay, let's turn on the APU. It would be nice in the future updates to have been to be possible to implement the uh, air bleed started external air, air pressure start engine, but this is not functioning right now. Even the test for the APUs and the engines, the fire tests are not implemented. Many things are not implemented yet. Go back to clearance. Request IFR clearance. Let's see. Radio SV1 EQE1123 IFR to left the Rios Venizelos ready to copy. SV1 EQE1123 is cleared to left the Rios Venizelos airport as filed. Climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure frequency is 129.775 squawk 1457. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. To wait a couple of times. The squad code is 1457. Let's see. This is not working. The only major button is the on and off. SV1 EQE1123, did you hear my last transmission? Let's upload it. SV1 EQE1123, cleared to left Dirios Venizelos Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure is 129.775 squawk 1457. Clearance void 30 minutes from now. SV1 EQE1123 readback is correct. Let's tune the frequency, but this is, does not matter if we tune the correct frequency or not. Maybe in another version they implemented implemented the gears. You have to tune the correct frequency in order to speak to this frequency. Okay, announce taxi, announce clear for runway. Wait down. Have to wait ADRS. The planes will not be moved further now and from the current position that we are. From the current position that we are right now, it looks that we don't need push back. Okay, let's turn on the APU. to wait for the APU to function be functional in order to start the engines I don't know why the navigation display flashed here that should not happen Mission climb phase is 8000 feet Maybe you not get available. We monitor the external temperature, exhaust, exhaust temperature. And when it will be available, we'll see here the indications for the voltage. The percentage of the APU will be available also, should be 100%. Probably switch into the APU. It is available. Wait and see here. Well, a couple of things are not implemented in this uh, model yet. Even it is for using the external project for this airplane. Maybe you generate one percent. I guess that will be see, will be one hundred percent, but we'll see. Maybe that's conception. I don't remember this. Let's maybe lead.
the bleed pressure is 35 psi turn on the engine number one but before we do that normally we have to turn on lights here starting engine number one to monitoring the fuel aboard the fuel aboard have been calculated from before from the uh, same brief 10 tons 10 ton of fuel is enough and if we go here the performance the progress we should have here an indication for the estimated fuel board. This is not implemented yet. to you all oh, the engine number one is started up start number two we do not need any more external power is on and let's have a look frame rate, the frame rate was quite satisfied, almost uh, 45 frames ra frame rate per second but I think somewhere here the general in uh, where was that? recipe graphics the glass copy refresh rate is medium, I can put it on high, let's see if this affects Yes, just drop five frames per second. If this drops a lot, I will, I will change it to medium. Previously, you used to have a, a community plugin and uh, calibrate this one, but now has implemented a new patch. Other barometric pressure. Engine number two, ignition to normal, flaps to one. Normally, this will be an indication of flaps here, and the e camber is not. I have an indication of flaps here, but there is not. But there is here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. That's good. Go back to the FMCS performance. Please speed set, set transition altitude. Ten thousand. That's one. Lima India Bravo Charlie traffic SV one EQE one one two three is taxiing to runway three five.
and was unfam unfamiliar with this runway here in the airport. There's an option. This was somewhere. Uh, let me think. That option was somewhere here. Uh, no. Here. Uh, accessibility. I think so. No. Misc. No. Data. No. Flight. No traffic sound. What was that? Assistant. Navigation aids and here we have uh, taxi ribbon which is on. Lima India Bravo Charlie traffic SV1 EQE 1123 is taxiing to runway 35. Normally we should request taxi and we we'll see that then we'll see what's going on with taxi. request taxi uh. Lima India Bravo Charlie traffic SV1 EQE 1123 is taxiing to runway 35 Lima India Bravo Charlie traffic SV1 EQE 1123 is clear of the runway I don't know how to get a request taxi here. Proceed. Aha. Here we have the assist. back why did it get us here we should have followed the right path
benefits aligned with the Federal Railway. Let's depart straight out or north to Spain. Lima, India, Bravo, Charlie, traffic is V1 EQE. One two three taking off runway three five north departure. There's no reply from the ATC for this airport. I don't know what's going on. Okay. You know the transport there. Parking brake is set. instrument again why this not be happening it's back from maybe you right now and shut it down this is not happening not be happening okay let's go like the directors are on this doga Now let's try something else. Center is V1 EQE1123 is climbing through 3,200 feet for 8,000 feet. SV1 EQE1123 Brindisi Center continue as planned. Altimeter 29er decimal 87. One back, not back, but we should be an option to change this depression. Zero. Climb eight thousand feet. The cruising altitude should be ah, it's too high. At level three nine zero, but we will too high. Who said that?
Brindisi Center SV1 oh. EQE112 oh. one, one, tree. Request flight level 490. Oh, that's absurd. SV1 EQE112 one, one, tree climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Expect flight level 490. Climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Expect flight level 490. SV1 EQE112 uh, uh, one, one, tree. Use it. Brindisi Center, SV1 EQE112 tree. Request flight level 390. SV1 EQE112 tree climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Expect flight level 390. 390 is, I think, it's in the limit of the operation of Airbus. Climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Expect flight level 390. SV1 EQE112 tree. Optima will be flight level 370. Brindisi Center, SV1 EQE112 one, one, tree. Request flight level 370. SV1 EQE112 one, one, tree climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Expect flight level 370. and maintain 8,000 feet. Expect flight level 370 SV1 EQE 1123. By the time of this flight, there is a really category 1 hurricane in the middle of the Mediterranean, as I mentioned before, it's heading to Greece. There are some emergency measures have been taken in Greece to avoid the uh, engine of started. <laughs> That's silly. I don't remember how to get rid of these messages. Let's see. Almost 8,000 feet. SV1 EQE, one, one, two, three, climb and maintain 15,000 feet. Open climb. Climb and maintain 15,000 feet. SV1 EQE, one, one, two, three. Why is that? SV1 EQE one one two three contact Brindisi Center on one two three decimal nine or five. One two three decimal nine or five for SV1 EQE one one two three. Ah. Why? Brindisi Doesn't Center have... SV1 EQE. Is at 8, That's another feet, bug. Feet. Another bug. If you look at the FMGS, you don't have indications here. We are above. Not not yet. Oh, there is a lot of turbulence. Aha. Uh -huh. See, there is no, uh, oh, no expedite. But we can do something else, reduce the airspeed. And this will be expedite our ascent. As it shows here. In order to avoid storm and fly above the storm. And also the V wars will have been implemented. Because here the radio navigation 
the VLS, but not the VORs and the, the frequencies for the next waypoints should be have implemented this. The rate of ascent is low. We have more faster ascent right now. Okay, let's reach the standard pressure. Turn off the landing lights. And the taxi. Engine off. Generator is off. Why? Why? This should not be happening. I don't know why I have a faulty generator. There is no ECAM display according to this. <laughs> That's funny. This is really funny. No recall, no clear, nothing. When the generator is off, we're using the generator of engine 2 only. This should not be happening. Another bug. Another bug. Okay, I can say that according to these, the graphics are perfect, excellent. But there are a lot of bugs yet in this model. Then why the generator is off? Some around here who we should fly the center of storm. So far so good. We have only 20 knots winds, according to the. Navigation display. So the frequency then. Very slow ascent. It's according to the weather. The engine has started. Flying with the only the, with the engine, do why engine one is sad? Oh Jesus! I started this engine. It's 
funny. I'm flying with it with the engine number two. There is no rudder trim, but the flame plane flies straight ahead. Oh. <laughs> Normally, I could start up the engine using the pressure from the start from the engine number two. Oh, buggy, it's buggy. I departed only using only one engine, but the rate of the climb was normally, and shut it down when engine number one stopped working, without without any excuse, any warning in the ECA, nothing. And I just realized it with the generator, generator one was off. <laughs> Okay, we wait they begin to start up and start it now. Let's see. Why did this happen? SB1 EQE112 tree, please expedite your climb to flight level 290. I want to, but I can't. There should be a reply here. There's no reply for the expedite. What is going on? I'm losing altitude. This should have been re happened in reality. I should have many, many SB1 EQA errors. The ECAM. Cannot reply for this. There is something wrong with the engine one. Start again once more to start it up. Oops, this is frozen point at this moment. SB 
Try to lose an altitude. And I cannot start the engine. I don't know why this is happening. Power to start up engine number one. Okay, I did it manually. I just press Control E. Seriously losing altitude. And the engine number one refuses. SB1 EQE 1123, please expedite your climb to flight level 290. Ah, in this case, I should have request emergency. Something wrong with the engine number one. Something very, very wrong. <laughs> Bunny. I'm losing altitude. Seriously, I'm losing altitude. And I cannot start engine number one. This is a case for Mayday, 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 and return back to Italy. Okay, let's do something else. There is no way to start it up. No way. Why? 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 SB1 EQE1123, please expedite your climb to flight level 290. Auto throttle refuses to kick on. Interesting, very, very interesting. I fly only with engine number two. SV1 EQE, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday is a malfunction with engine number one. Request vectors for the nearest airport. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, let, let's let's wait for N2 to come zero and start it up again. Ballads and fuel. SB one EQE one one two three, please expedite your climb to flight level two nine or zero. of rate is this? I'm draining fuel like crazy right now. What is this? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh no. It's not happening. Valves, the tank number two. This is not normal. The rate of consumption in fuel is absurd. I will run out of fuel in ten minutes like this. SB one EQE one one two three acknowledge last transmission. One three five decimal eight seven five SB one EQE one one two three. This is not happening. Huh? And the fuel is back to 9.3 tons. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? <sighs> Just fly with the oil with your own engine. I cannot climb any further to from uh, 9,500 feet. And the plane is doomed to fly this flight level. I do not know why the engine refuses to start. I really don't know. If I open the crossfield valve here, Fuel of board is 9.2. And shut down these parts here. Ah. Yes, I have to turn on the crossfire. Yes. 
the amount of, <laughs> of of fuel dumping from here it's crazy this is not normal not normal Let's see what's going on. Let, 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 let. Now it says that they have a fuel on board. Ah, it stopped. Stopped. The consumption of fuel, the rate of consumption went back to normal. Crazy, crazy, everything is something is very, very wrong here. Very, very wrong. Fuel <coughs> imbalance. I know that. I know that. Okay. went back to 9.2 tons. The consumption here is crazy right now. I'm still keep flying with the 101 engine. Almost levelized. Previously was eight something tons, and now it's back into nine. It's gaining a few of them extraterrestrials. And the engine number one refuses to start. Might be, must be something wrong Generic with. Nine or nine or three or six five miles northwest. Descent and maintain seventeen thousand feet. Expect VOR DME runway one four approach via NSC transition. Maybe I have Clear to remove the. Uh, maybe I have to remove the uh, NA three two project the external. The external upgrade. Climb and maintain flight level three three zero. Expect VOR DME runway one four approach via NSC transition. Clear to NSC generic nine or nine or three. Let's continue the flight going with the one, number, engine number two. <laughs> Something which is unexplainable. I cannot fly to flight level two nine zero. Athens Center SV-1 EQE-1123 is climbing through 10,400 feet for flight level 290. How do you clear, declare EQE emergency Athens here? Continue to NSC as planned. Altimeter 29 or decimal 74. Altimeter in this light of altitude a little bit difficult.
Okay, what I have done here normally, I have shut down the valves from this tank, open the cross, the cross valve, and I'm dumping fuel from only one tank, both of the engines, if they both work, used to work, but they don't. Impossible. Impossible. I have emergency. I guess I have to remove from the community folder the mode for the 320. Maybe there is a mismatch with a new patch from Microsoft. Is something wrong? Is something wrong? I don't know what's going on. try to restart the engine pressing control E but I think I'm losing altitude no but I think I have shut down both the engines no what's going on If I'm not going to crash in this flight, I'm never going to crash again. Falling down. Oh my God. SB1 EQA112 tree, please expedite your climb to flight level 290. I'm flying. Stay, stay. Stay, stay. <sighs> but I have to turn off that APU is on. Why? Why? Come on, I have the APU on. Ratman, away. Come on. SB1 EQA112 
I need power. No engine power. No engine power. I have nothing. I lost everything now. Dropping. I will crash. I cannot turn the engines. Everything is wrong. Everything is wrong. thousand feet. At least I will have a decent water landing. This is an emergency. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Airbus is going down. No engine. Both engines died. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I'm going down. SB1EQE1123, please expedite your client to flight level 290. Can't start the engines, I can't do anything. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Reach 
This is the end. <laughs>